Hey guys, welcome to the first part of this week's Coffee Here Show. Take me through the new graphic novels into the store. A couple of omnibuses slash hardcovers in this week. So uh, plenty of trade paperbacks. Uh, the usual mix of stuff being topped up in the, the back catalogue and new releases out this week. So kick things off with one I'm very much looking forward to, which is Black Sad, They All Fall Down, Part 2. Black Sad has been one of my favourite titles for years. Uh, um, a guy gifted it to me maybe... Geez, 15 years ago, which is really depressing. Um, <laughs> the very first one. And uh, we're as far now as four books in total. Well, five books, but part four, or the fourth book is two parts. Uh, absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, Spanish creators, Juan Diaz Canales and Juan Joe Garnido. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. If you're a <clears throat> fan of noir, fan of the old gumshoe detective, that sort of style, right up your alley. Uh, next up, we have a new foray into manga from Frank Miller. Uh, this is Frank Miller's Ronin Rising. Um, it looks to me like this is basically the uh, the Frank Miller line. Frank Miller presents, but he's putting it into a manga sort of size edition rather than a traditional graphic novel, which is kind of interesting. Um, published by a publisher called Kana and Abrams Books as well. So yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a left field choice there rather than just a traditional comic format. Next up we have Satana the Ripper, which is uh, of course the Webtoon original stories. Uh, this is the fourth edition, I believe. Uh, yep, number four. Uh, so this is uh, an all ages book featuring Satana very heavily and of course John Constantine in there as well. Next up we have Teen Titans Starfire. So again, continuing on this graphic novel for young adults uh, theme and range. I think we got this in last week as well, just we were shorted some copies, so more in this week. Next up, we have the Ascender Compendium. So this is from Jeff Lamar and Dustin Wayne. Uh, it's part of a two-fold series. There's Ascender and Descender. Descender was all about the, um, tell me if this is relevant to today, uh, the fears and misgivings about AI. Uh, Ascender is more about magic. And uh, yeah, they're, they're sort of a, a twofer series, which is really, really interesting. Uh, next up, we have Avengers Seasons of the Witch Epic Collection. So this is volume 13 of the Avengers Epic Collections. This covers the period 1982 to 1983 and covers Avengers 227 to 237, as well as a bunch of tie-ins as well. Annuals, Amazing Spider-Man annuals, Fantastic Four issues, Doctor Strange and four issues of Hawkeye. Uh, the Blood Hunt tie-in series continue to come out. This is Blood Hunters. Uh, so Blood Hunters was a four issue series. Uh, this uh, this uh, volume also contains Hallow's Eve, The Big Night as well. Your favourite Marvel heroes versus vampires. I really did enjoy Blood Hunt. Tremendous fun. Uh, next up we have Ghost Rider Final Vengeance. So this was the follow up to the, uh, the Benjamin Percy Ghost Rider series. This was basically its own six issue mini series before the latest run of Ghost Rider kicks off. The Ghost Rider chooses a new host. Uh, yeah, six issues in general. I've been saying it for a long time. Ghost Rider is one of Marvel's best books I think at the moment. Next up is We Call Them Giants. So this is an original graphic novel from the Die team of Kieran Gillen and Stephanie Hans. Uh, Laurie wakes to find the streets empty. Everyone has gone, or at least nearly everyone. She's thrown into a world where she has to scrape by in the ruins of civilization, nearly starving, hiding from gangs when they arrive. We Call Them Giants is a story about communication across the chasm at the end of the world from the award-winning team behind dark fantasy smash Die. Hey, that's what I just said. Uh, next up, House of Slaughter, where as far now as Volume 5 for the uh, expansion of the Something is Killing the Children world. Uh, James Tenney and Tip Brombo, of course, continuing to write this one. Where they're Della Dera and Tunio Fuso on art. Uh, new volume for Power Rangers, many more from Power Rangers Recharged. So we're as far as Volume 6 of this. We keep getting these in the Power Rangers books. They're always over in the Boom Studios section. Next up, we have Transformers. So we've booked two now of the frankly fantastic um, relaunch for Transformers at, uh, comic, at Image Comics. Uh, Dan and Warren Johnson continues to write. There is a new artist for Arc 2, uh, which is um, Jorge Crona. But see, to be honest, you barely notice a change. Honestly, it's, it's so seamless. Uh, Transport to Oblivion, this one's called 7 to 12. You've got a direct market exclusive cover, only available in comic stores. And then you've got your standard ad uh, cover just there as well, both available in the store. Next up is Star Wars Droids and Ewoks, the original Marvel years. I mean, I can just tell there are certain people who come to this store who cannot wait for this book. Droids and Ewoks. Uh, this is volume one. These stories take place between episodes four and five. Star Wars' most beloved characters. Take the spotlight. Next up, TMNT Black, White and Green. So this was the uh, anthology-based series. Tons of different creators involved. 
telling short stories in the TMNT world, and then just only using black, white, and green art. Uh, you've got the likes of Declan Shelby involved here, Javier Rodriguez, Jock, Riley Rossmo, Lee Garbet, Patrick Gleason, Tyler Boss, Mikey Way, and more. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, book four. So this continues the uh, the fantastic run on Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. We've been getting all of these volumes in. This one collects Green Lantern 26 to 38 and Final Crisis, Rage of the Red Lanterns at number one. So two to finish off with, we have Star Wars The High Republic Phase Two, Quest of the Jedi Omnibus. Uh, this contains Star Wars The High Republic, the 2022 series, one to 10 as well as Star Wars The High Republic The Blade 1 to 4 as well. Uh, so Kevin Scott and Charles Soul continue to expand the High Republic world. And we finish off with a frankly glorious edition for Birthright. So Birthright Volume 1. Uh, Birthright, always been a big fan of this book. It's Joshua Williamson and Andre Bressan on art. Uh, this contains the first 25 issues all together. For the Rhodes family, losing their son was the most devastating thing that could have occurred, but I couldn't prepare them for what happened when he returned. Lost to a fantasy land beyond imagination, Mikey Rhodes has returned a powerful warrior of legend, but not always what it seems with Mikey, and even the greatest fan fantasy shatters in the face of reality. Uh, stunning hardcover format, amazing trim. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful book that for a beautiful series. So yeah, that's the graphic novels in this week. Uh, keep in mind, of course, next week we have our uh, signing with Tini Howard. Uh, I will be away this weekend. I'm away over to Thought Bubble and Harrogate Comic Con over there. Uh, so we'll be over there for the weekend. So I'm here today, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Maybe dotting around the place on Thursday as well, but then away all weekend and back next week. But yeah, as I say, keep that signing in mind for next Wednesday, 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Tini Howard and Blake Howard. Uh, really looking forward to hosting them. And outside of that, I look forward to seeing you guys while I'm here in store this week. Until then, take it easy.